this tutorial, we cover the most important areas, so you can be confident in managing your website and shop. First, we recommend to log into your Florist Touch account. You will have been emailed the login details. After you enter your login details, you will be asked if you want to save your login, we recommend that you do to save time. Once you have logged in, it is a good idea to bookmark the page, so you can easily access it at any time, especially if you have a new order arrive, or wish to take a card payment by phone. Note that, you can log in on a laptop, tablet or mobile. Though we recommend a laptop or tablet for in-shop needs. This is the Florist Touch dashboard. On the left-hand side is the main categories. The first one is Home. Here are a few useful shortcut links. At the top right of the screen you will see zero new orders. This will automatically turn bright yellow when you have a new order arrive, and it will stay yellow until you view the order. These are your online shop categories. You can group products together, such as bouquets, gifts, workshops and so on. You can create a category, rename, delete and hide. The category set at the top will be the one your customers see first upon entering your online shop, so be sure to set your most popular category here. Of course, special events like Valentine's can be either moved up or unhidden accordingly. To sort the category, simply press and drag here. When Valentine's comes, we simply unhide this category, and it will be shown first. If we select View Shop button, we can see what your customers will see. Deleting a category will not delete items within them. Products are your shop items for sale. We will go through creating our first product. First, select Add Product button. You will be asked for a name. Here we can add a description to the product. We recommend adding some information to give confidence and insight to your customers. At any time, you can view the item on your shop here. If you have an item that you wish to display but it is not appropriate to sell, you can check this box. Floral items often have multiple prices, and if you like, you can add labels, such as small, medium, luxury and so on. If you wish, you can add product options. These allow you to set non-price changing options for your items. Here we can create a few choices under Select Color. The ones which we check are ones that appear to a customer. These options show on every product so that you can pick and choose which ones you'd like. If you have made a mistake or wish to remove an option, simply select Edit Product Options button and select Save when you are done. You can also create a brand new product option, such as bow color. In order to set an image for an item, you have a few options. First, if you are on a laptop, you can choose from your photos by selecting the Upload Image button. Or, if you are on your phone, you can select the same button and take a picture directly, and it will upload from your phone. You will notice every image has the product options listed beside. This is useful if you would like a specific image to show when your customer selects an option. In order for your item to display, you will need to select a category it will appear in. It can go in as many categories as you like. The delivery option allows you to choose the type of product you have. By default, it is set as a locally delivered item and will also allow a customer to collect from your store in person. Courier will allow the item to be shipped worldwide and will use the delivery prices you have set. An online item is one that does not need a delivery address, such as workshops and vouchers. Click and Collect will require the customer to collect in person. This is useful for very large items. If you are creating a funeral item, you can select this box and it will ask for related information. Gift ideas are displayed when your customer has added an item to their basket. But you can choose which items display. If you would like to create an item as a gift, simply select Set Item as Upsell, and it will then provide you the option to choose which your gift item is associated with. Click Save when you are done. You can promote up to three items on the homepage. Simply select Feature next to an item. 
If you wish to reorder them, select the up and down arrows on the left. Let's take a look at the orders page. Here we see four main groups. Current are orders which have been paid for and can be processed. Pending are new orders which have not yet been paid for. You can keep your current order list tidy by marking them as completed or cancelled. When an order has been paid for, you can view the detail by selecting the number. The left section will show important information. If you wish, you can notify the customer that you have read and acknowledged their order by selecting Send Order Acknowledgement Email. If for any reason you want to refund an order, simply select Process Refund. Sometimes a customer may make a mistake, and you would like to correct it. Select Edit Order and here you can amend any detail. From within this view, you can print the order or mark it as completed. When you select completed, it will ask if you wish to notify the customer. If a customer calls and they wish to pay on the phone, you can select new order. First, we select the type of order. Then add either an existing item or a unique one. To save time, we can ask the customer for the postcode and look it up. Then select the address and it will autofill. We can ask for more detail about the order, and we can enter that detail here. Once the customer has provided their card number, we select Take Payment button. It will then save everything entered and appear within the Current Orders tab in Orders. Here you can view your marketing statistics and track trends. If you would like to create a discount code in which to share on social media, you can select Vouchers and Discounts. First we label it, such as 10% off on Valentine's. You have a range of options you can choose from. We will select a standard discount with 10% off. We can require a minimum spend of £25, and we set a memorable discount code, such as Valentine's 10. We can also choose to set it to begin and expire at a specific date, and we can choose how many times it can be used. Click Save and Enable when you have finished. We recommend checking it yourself after you have created it to make sure you are happy with it. The website editor gives you complete control over your website and its pages. You can create and delete pages, as well as control the content on them. Here, you can hide a page by selecting the eye icon. The order of appearances is shown, so the home page is first on your website, followed by shop front. We recommend keeping contact as your last page. To start, we will edit the home page, so we press home page button. Your website is divided by what we call blocks. A block can be a title, a paragraph, a picture gallery. There are a variety to choose from which we will cover shortly. Here, we can see the top block is a gallery. You can easily add an image to the gallery by pressing the gray button. And you can upload images from your phone. Once an image is uploaded, it will show at the top of the list and will display first, too, on your website. You can choose to hide the image anytime. You can add a link to any image on the slideshow gallery as shown. This can be very effective if you want to advertise new items or direct them to a page. Press the edit button on the image you would like the link on. To create a link, select the text, and then press the link icon. Then you can enter the address. Here we link to the shop by typing forward slash shop. Click save when you are done. Further down, we see a title block. Titles are large text that help guide the user to the next section. In this case, it is followed by a Facebook plus paragraph block. 
This is a special paragraph that displays your Facebook feed on the left side. Testimonials allow you to display customers' words about you. And the last block is the address and opening times. To manage blocks, you can either reorder them by pressing the up or down arrows, delete them entirely, or create them. Remember to select Save if you have made changes. Now let's take a look at the ones we can choose from and what they mean. YouTube allows you to add a video. Featured items uses your promoted items list. Slideshow galleries show your images in a horizontal line, one at a time, but they will crop your image if it is too large to fit. Collage galleries display multiple images at once, and all at their original size. We recommend this for your services pages such as weddings, funerals and corporate. If you have a wedding page, you can use the wedding booking block, and it will ask for specific wedding information. Buttons are useful if you want to direct them to a particular page or website. SEO, or Search Engine Optimization, is fully managed by the Florist Touch team, so you don't need to change this. A member of our team will be in contact to go through the delivery settings in detail, but we will cover the basics here. If you are a shop florist, you will want to make sure this is all correct. When checked, the allow same-day delivery option will give you an option for the cut-off time. So for example, if it's set as 12 o'clock and a customer is checking out at 11.50, they will be able to select the same day. But if it's 12 o'clock, they can only select the next day. If you do not offer same day, uncheck this option. By default, it will be ahead by one day so a customer can order for tomorrow if it is 11.50, by not if it's 12 o'clock. Here we select the days you can deliver on. Custom locations delivery method provides control over where you deliver to and the cost. Typically, we set three zones. If you wish to alter these to match your needs, simply select and drag, as shown. The colors on the map represent population. Purple is medium density, and yellow is high. Be sure to take this into account when setting your map. Once you have finished, select Save Locations button. You can choose a different price for the delivery zones by selecting the Change button. If you offer collection, you can set your preferences here. If you offer courier delivery, you can add a few options, like so. Exceptions are days of the year that you can be closed or open, and this applies to the online shop, too. So let's create our first exception. Select Add Exception. You will be presented with a few options. Here we will set to disable all shop orders for Christmas. Select Not Available Closed, the date and whether you want it to apply every year, or just the one. We select multiple days, and this allows us to cover a longer period. Once the dates are set, we can apply this to all the channels. Local delivery will disable customers placing a local delivery between this date. Collection and courier will do the same, too. We can show shop hours also. Once set, your customers will see this on your opening times nearer the time. Click Save when you are done. In Options, you can promote your Facebook or anything you wish. To make text a link, select the text and then press the link icon. Then you can enter the address. Here we link to Facebook by typing in facebook.com forward slash your page name. Sometimes customers can enter very long gift messages with their orders. This can be tricky if you write it on a business card. We recommend setting it to 250. When a customer is placing an order, you can ask their delivery preference for AM or PM. 
Note that it is made clear that it is not guaranteed. On Shop Information tab, we recommend checking all information is correct, especially your shop opening times, address, postcode, and phone number. All other information is completed by the Florist Touch team. Thank you, and we look forward to working with you.